eyes, but it's not showing. Okay. All right. Let's see if we get this to work today. It is pretty bright out here today. Got a gorgeous day. Solar is kicking some butt. Hello. We got a few people in here right now. Feel free to say hi. Oh, hey, Tim. AJ. Well, we are have nice weather today. It was total rain the last few days. Oh, hey, from the Netherlands. Cool. Philip. Sage. Lots of other names that are going so fast I can't read. <laughs> well, that was quick. All right. Yeah, um, we haven't run the generator at all this week, and we've had rain every day except for today, right? Yep. Um, the solar panels have done everything we need them to do. It's amazing. Um, we, uh, I had 1,952 watts coming in a little while ago on the solar. And what is our solar max? 1960, is it 1962? Um, I have to click off here real quick. I think it's where, 1962, where 20, so that's 10. 27 to Yep, 327 times yeah, 6. 1962. Yeah, so 1,962 watts total available, and we were pulling in 1,952. So that's like 1. What, 2, 1. Point whatever watts per panel less than their max power, which surprises me too because some of our panels are a little bit towards the sun, but then some of them are a little bit away from the sun, and the other ones are totally flat. So that really surprises me. Um, I, I don't know that I ever thought I would have got that kind of... Uh, return on those so that's great which which is seven, it's 70 amps that it puts out when it does that um but for the most part it's been 1500 to 1700 that it's there's a couple little light clouds in the sky i don't know if i tip my camera back if you can see them at all but yeah that's not really but uh it's doing pretty good um trying to think what else we got going on we've been working on the driveway some more mostly just raking and everything um getting some ruts out and that kind of stuff but uh, yeah, having the solar kicking out so much power, we've not, everything we've wanted, we haven't had to run air conditioning. That would be the one thing. It hasn't the been warm night, enough. The one night we did. We, we actually did one night, the, night. the entire night long, we turned the air conditioner on and let it run off of the batteries all night long, um, which the thermostat would turn it on and off as it was going. Uh, so that was, that was no issue. Um, and then the batteries were charged back up 100% the next day. So that was that was that was fun. Um, it was a nice test and experiment to do that because it was it was pretty muggy that night, um, and I probably could have set the thermostat a little bit lower than what I had it to. Uh, what else we got going on here? Um, we're natural gas is available here, and we got the gas company coming out to give us the price on that too. So uh, the we met with the water company and the gas guy, actually same guy, but he's got to come back out and do some other measurements for the gas. Um, and we're gonna get our estimate for that. So hopefully we'll get our water hooked up soon. We have a rain barrel, a 55 gallon barrel that we have now nearly completely filled the last two days since we started collecting rainwater. Um, we've been using the rainwater to, uh, just for miscellaneous things around the property, cleaning our shoes, spraying bug spray in the pump sprayer. Uh, and then we've been using it to flush the toilets. So instead of wasting our good uh, fresh water that we need to use for uh, you know dishes and that kind of stuff, um, and showers and things like that. We just use this water to pour into the toilet with a, like a milk jug in there. So just, just trying to conserve the fresh water, what little we do have. Uh, so we don't have to leave the property. Um, can't really think what else we got, what's going on today. We're gonna do some more cleanup on the property today. I saw my friend, the snake again today, that, that razor, um, or racer, that what he, yeah, racer, racer. Um, hanging out in the same spot, just sunning over there. So. I actually threw, I had some grapefruit that I threw over there. I don't know if he'll eat grapefruit, but if not, maybe it'll attract a mouse that he could eat. Uh, so good for him. <laughs> um, I didn't see him do it, but Kelly saw him do it. He stood up, like they, they say they periscope is one of the things they do. It's so like he raised up high, like a cobra kind of a thing and was checking out. And then she said he took off super fast. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see how fast he went. I wasn't there when he did that, but um, I'll give him a little, he, when he was coiled up, he's real easy to step on, but he's big. Um, but it's nice to kind of know what he looks like. I mean, he basically looks like a stick. <laughs> so you gotta watch, yeah. we got lots of sticks laying around. 
Um, and he doesn't move when you get close to him. He like totally freezes at first. So I, I could see me accidentally stepping on one for sure. I, I think some snake boots will probably be uh, something we'll think about doing here. Uh, isolation. Um, it's, it's, it's not too bad out here. We're, I'm glad. I'm really glad with our decision that we left, abandoned the trip to Florida and just came back here. We could get some stuff done on the property. Uh, but besides that, just not being around and, and worried about catching the virus and stuff like that. So it's a, and you know, we're not cooped up inside. We, we can go outside as much as we want here on the property and we're not worried about, you know, hurting somebody else or anything like that. Um, Got some bad news from my mom last night. She sent us a text. Uh, she's been sick the last couple of days. And then so her doctor with the symptoms that she had wanted her to, so she went in and got a test last night. Um, and she's waiting to hear results back from that. And it's what they say, four to seven days yep. to get the test results back uh, for the COVID-19 test. Uh, she said it was really surreal. Like the hospital called her and they have a drive-through testing thing. So she, they asked like, what, what's your make and model of car? Uh, license plate number, all that kind of stuff. And then when she got there, there was a line and then, but they actually didn't do it in the car. She had to go into the hospital. So they, they give her a mask, they get her out of the car. One person escorts her and they got like a face shield on and all that stuff and take her in. They're like, don't touch anything. Uh, and she goes in and uh, then they, you know, jam the thing up your nose and which- they made, Yeah, they made her stand in the middle of the room. Yeah, she had to stand in the middle of the room and not touch anything. They opened all doors for her and everything. Yeah. And then sent her back on her way, so. Um, She's in pretty good health, uh, other than she does have uh, asthma. And so her doctor gave her some extra prescription for her asthma stuff and things like that. So hopefully uh, it's just, you know, whatever, something else. We'll see. She lives in Chicago. Um, she worked at a theater. I know she was talking about, well, I probably shouldn't get into it. But, no, probably not. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully mom's going to be all right there. Um, she seems to be feeling... Not too, not horribly bad. So just, she and she said it was come, come and go. Goes. So anyways, what else we got to talk about? Um, I don't know. You can answer questions. Yeah, we can answer some questions. Have them all caps, please. Yeah, if you type them in all caps, um, that would be great. I did see earlier somebody asked how many acres. It's just under 25. We just rounded up to 25. 24 point whatever. Um, was there a question already on here that I need to go back to, or do you want me to just start where we're at right now? I, I, the, mainly, um, just and they asked how big. Okay. Someone's asking what a ballpark of 25 acres would cost. I don't know if you want to tell. Or yeah, not. no, I'll, I don't mind. I, I think it's all public we, record we, anyways. We got a good stuff. deal here. Yeah, the, it was a little over $2,000 an acre which I think is super cheap. When we started looking, um, we had a budget, I don't know what we tell her, $25,000, kind of, we were looking for like five acres or something like that. And then this one was way, you know, double, more than double what the budget was, but it was, you know, four times as much as much property. So as soon as we saw it, we fell in love with it. So yeah, it's property's pretty cheap out here. And then the fact that it's got city water available, like you still gotta pay money to get it here, but it's close. Um, electric is available and natural gas, which that was a shocker. We didn't even know natural gas was available. Our realtor had told us it was going to be propane. Um, so we'd kind of come to terms it was going to be propane that we'd have out here. But the fact that we have natural gas, that's pretty amazing. Part of our property is actually in the city limits uh, and part of our property is not. Um, so that's, that's why we get the benefits of that. So... And it was funny too, because we had made an offer. How does it ever happen? Like, like you make an offer and then the, the seller comes back with a counter offer and you know, you're always like, uh, you know, you go lower, they go higher. Well, the, the last offer that we made, we made it. And then their offer, their counter offer came in lower than what our offer was. <laughs> Took that one right away. <laughs> I'm like, that never happens. Um, but there, there was a little contingency in there because they weren't sure how many acres the property was uh, and they just wanted to be done with it. So um, we're like, yep, okay. So we did it. And then we had the survey done and it ended up being the amount of acreage it was supposed to be. So it all worked out for the for the best. But uh, it was kind of one of those things that's meant to be. Um, what were the taxes cost a year? Do you remember what the taxes were? Before we, uh, it was only 400 and some dollars with nothing built on the property. Yeah, four, 400 bucks. A year that's yeah it was it was under 450 dollars yeah um so once we start getting buildings here obviously it's going to go up but um that's not gonna be terrible bad okay 
any tornadoes around. No, we didn't. It was pretty quiet. Yeah, it was. Then after it there was a little out. bit of thunder and some winds and stuff, but no, nothing got. It didn't even storm that bad. It rained kind of hard for a little while. Um, we had nastier days without. Yeah, the tornado I think warning. it didn't really come through the area. There is a flood warning for a local river, um, which I swim everywhere's probably got little flood warnings and stuff. But nothing's going to affect us here. Uh, it might close some local roads and stuff like that, but not, not a big deal. Is there a way to get a hold of you for questions about my bus? Um, yeah, uh, there's a whole video, how do you schedule the bus grease monkey? That's a good way to do it. Um, or through Patreon, if you're a Patreon member. Um, my email is scott at busgreasemonkey.com, but I, I don't really check that very often. But if you sp type the specific information that's in the how do you schedule the bus grease monkey thing uh, in the headline, that's something that I do search for. So I, that would come up. Um, and then I am going to start taking clients here on the property. Uh, sometime coming up soon. Um, you'll be on the lower part of the property and you won't have any improvements or anything, but if you want to bring your bus here, uh, you can get it worked on and uh, that's something we're going to offer. And you can get more information on that through the Patreon page as well. Uh, did you get the quotes for the pads? Yeah, we got the first quotes for the pads. Um, a little more than I thought they were going to be. Uh, what was it? Six, seven? Six thousand something, yeah. Yeah, it was almost seven thousand um, dollars. I think is what it was. It was over six. I can't recall. Um, so I'm going to get some more estimates. Uh, did you consider other locations besides Tennessee? No. No, Tennessee was where we wanted to be. Uh, someone says, OMG, there is still two inches of snow here. Does it say, no, two feet of snow. Oh. <laughs> What's the temp? Uh, uh, it's in the 60s today. Yeah, tomorrow it's supposed to get up to it 80. Feels, it feels warmer than that, though, because of the sun. Yeah, it's nice to have the sun out, finally. Uh, concrete pad, can you do it yourself? Yeah, I probably could, and and very well. Well, I know I can, um, but we'll, we'll see. I, I think for now, I'm just going to maybe just get some, some good gravel in down there, uh, and I'll work on gravel if I need to. I don't want to be in the mud, so... People are asking where we're located at. Uh, southwest of Nashville, about not quite an hour. How bad will the quarantine and social distancing affect the financials of bus repair business? Um, oh, it's going to hurt for sure. I mean, I, I turned down a whole bunch of jobs to come here. Yeah, a couple months worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's going to it's going to hurt. We have no money coming in for a couple months. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, plenty of money going out, no money coming in, so it's going to hurt. Uh, when do you expect to build? Uh, we expected to do something pretty soon, but with everything that's happened, that's everything is really going to be pushed back. So bare minimum stuff for now. We'll see about getting the pole barn up, but yeah, I don't know. Is there a chance you and Tyler working together again in a video? Oh, yeah. Just no time soon. Indiana has been locked down. So. Yeah, he's well. He and he's busy working his, his with Chris at the shop up there too. So. Uh, how is the drainage for the rest of the property? Not too bad. There's one spot where it kind of collects water. Uh, I think we can solve that by digging a trench and putting some drain tile in and. Uh, Kind of moving that, some water away. That's just on the drive coming in, so it's not too bad. Have you been able to get toilet paper there? We uh, didn't need any, so... It grows on the trees here. And <laughs> it's just, there's lots of little rolls starting right now. No. <laughs> We're good. We got plenty. Yeah. But everybody's been out, so I'm glad we got Yeah, I have, we haven't seen it in the store, have we? I mean, I'm sure if we saw one, we'd buy one. But we, we would buy one package. We wouldn't be one of those a-holes that buy a whole case or whatever what size pads are you building or need um the pad up here for us i think what we say it was 45 by 12 is that what we did i don't know if you took 12 or 15 up here it's either 12 or 15 wide by, by 45 i can't remember what we told them and then the one down below i basically did it kind of more like a capital t shaped sort of um so it was 
it was still a 45 in length, but then like the second half of it got a lot wider. So if I had to pull a transmission out of the side, like on a GM bus or pull the engine out of the I back. Think it's only 20 feet wide. Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it was 20. So it had more concrete around to do that kind of stuff. The driveway is gravel now, yes. There is nobody in our current county, right, with the sickness? Nobody. As, that's as of yesterday. Con confirmed as of yesterday kind of thing. So, But, the you know, the counties around us are, are have quite a bit. So I, I'm sure it's here, uh, and it's just not reported. We're, when we do go out, we've gone out of... The good thing we is... We haven't been out in, what, five days probably? Even left the property? Yeah. We, Other just, than, we, we went to the neighbors. We helped the neighbors. They, they, the na Our awesome neighbors that we totally love... Um, they just moved into their house here. They, they bought this house that's adjacent to us ago. a year ago and they completely redid it. So it had been, you know, the remodeling and the construction and all that stuff. Um, so they just moved in last weekend and we helped them do some moving, uh, some furniture and stuff like that. Um, and Otherwise we just went and got the mailbox. Yeah, we went and got our mailbox, got that installed, um, which that was a trip to Lowe's. And even like on Lowe's, like over the loudspeaker, they're like, you know, please don't stand within six feet of someone, even when you're waiting in line and stuff like that. So, you know, they they were pretty responsible about it. The store wasn't that packed. We have, we have hand, our daughter sent us down some hand sanitizer that she had. And then we already had like some Clorox wipes that we take with us in the car too. So we make sure we wipe our hands down when we go in anywhere, you know, we wipe down the carts and that kind of stuff too. And then try not to touch anything. Uh, we're not restaurant people. So, but restaurants are open for carry out only now. Yep. Um, which a week ago they weren't, they were just open regular and this local restaurant was packed. We were surprised how, that their parking lot was completely filled. Um, but there's no cases in the area and people, I don't think they were quite so worried about it. Um, what is the elevation? Above sea level? I don't know what we are here. I never looked. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I know that we're we got to be 120 feet above the road. Yeah. We know that the, the hill here is over 70 because we measured it the one day through the, the big tape measure off the side. And that's not even the highest. And that, yeah, that's not the highest part where we were at, so. Have you thought about building a barn dominium? That's what our plan is, is to do a barn dominium. To start with. To start with, and then a house separate later. But that was that was our plan get the barn to you know a, a big shop with a living quarters like a studio apartment on the back side um even something with more of a uh, industrial look to the apartment part of it too maybe like glass garage doors on the back side of it or something like that too but with all the chert there why not use that for pads um because it's still messy when it rains um it still that red stuff comes through a little bit and it just and it's, it kind of sticks like a glue kind of to some of it. Um, it was just easier to put the regular gravel in and then now we don't have the red crap all over our cars. Why Tennessee versus anywhere else? Uh, Tennessee was attractive because the weather is, you know, doesn't get that much snow. It's pretty here. Uh, it's beautiful here and it's nice for taxes. T Tennessee doesn't have the personal income tax like some states have, Indiana has. Um, more centralized too for us and more centralized for everywhere that we're going yeah lower cost of living and I, I we knew that there were nice people here but there are extremely nice people here um i can't believe how nice people are um are the bugs out there yet yep there's bugs they're not horrible that like not like we haven't had to break out the bug spray yet but we've got uh i don't know how we got at least a, probably half a dozen bottles of like off and with, with the deet and all that stuff in it but we haven't had to break it out yet, but there's mosquitoes floating in our top of our water barrel. Um, I've seen crickets and uh, you know, I saw mosquitoes flying around last night, flies, that kind of stuff, so. Sun is making it hard for me to read this here. Will you use steel reinforcement in your concrete pads? Absolutely. And how thick will they need to be? Uh, six inches is what we were looking at doing. How much is stone delivered there per ton? I don't know how much it was per ton. Well, we had 130 tons brought in. And it was $1,850. $1, $1, $1, $1, $1,850. That was delivered. $1,850 and change, like 36 cents or something? Yeah. So uh, whatever that works out to. So 130 tons, figure that out. It was on sale. It was cheap. I, I, that was much less than I thought it was going to be. 
Are you going to do some work on Lenny? Uh, I am. I got a bunch of stuff to do on Lenny. Yeah, that was one thing people you know, mentioned about having using the church. Uh, even if I would have hired, got a, a backhoe or something, I would have spent more money renting a, something to try and get the church rock spread out and all over the place. It was cheaper just to have them bring it in. And yeah, we're going to work on Lenny when we get a few nice days. Yeah, it's, it he's, he's in out. the mud right now, and I'm not going to work yeah, on Lenny in the mud. Up. Well, he's not. Well, his most of them is not in the mud, but there's still standing water under him. Uh, is there a chance Kelly works on any bus engines? Sometimes. Um, we have a, a fun... Uh, should I tell the story? So, a very important boondocking tip. So you're trying to conserve water. So you lose a, use a little bit less water when you're flushing your toilet. Um, this is RV Toilet 101. So we used to have our gray and black tanks mixed together. So there's always plenty of extra liquid in there. Um, so now it's our gray is separate and that's no big deal. So we're using the toilet like normal and basically we made a big poop emoji under the toilet. <laughs> What does it have to do with... Because it, it was terrible because the toilet wouldn't work. We had to <laughs> get everything... What does it have to do with me working on a bus engine? Oh, nothing. I was just telling the story. <laughs> this has nothing to do with you working on a bus engine. I was just telling the story. So you're just being disgusting. I'm being disgusting. Yeah. So you don't want to try to conserve that much water with your toilet because you need to have extra water. This is RV stuff. This is problems you don't have at home, <laughs> but you have problems with your RV. <laughs> She's like, shut up. <laughs> So that's why, we're, yeah, so now we got the gallon jugs of water in there. So we're not having the, you know, waste our fresh water that we were trying to be conservative of. <laughs> when does Lenny get his turbo? Are you taking care of moderation by, on the way? You know, I can't okay. read questions and do that. Okay. So. I'm sorry. What was your thing then? When does Lenny get his turbo? Um, I'm not sure when he's going to get it. Um, it the, the plan was a year from when we did the rebuild, so... We don't have the parts here with us, so. I think Tyler's back. Tyler can moderate too. Tyler. Okay, sorry. Um, are you planning on doing any more mining in the property to make extra money? No, I'm not gonna sell chert. Um, it's not worth a lot of money and we like the way it looks. I mean, we, we may get rid of a little bit of it as we start moving stuff around, but I'm not going to sell it. We told the neighbors they can come get what they want. Yeah. Oh yeah. They can have as much as they want. Can you explain again, the difference in between C and A injectors? Uh, it's just a, like a, a, a grade, like, you know, the difference between your report card, why you got an A in one class and a C in another. Um, if the calibration rating is within a certain, you know, night, whatever the numbers are for it. So, you know, if it was 95% of what it's supposed to be, then it's an A. If it's, you know, if it's off from there, then you get a B kind of thing. So it, the, it's, it's regulating the amount of fuel that it gives out each time that it goes. Um, and you want, the, you want to have the same numbers so that everything runs smoother and it's more evenly. I apologize if I missed one of your questions. It's really hard to read this out here. It is hard in the sun. I can't hardly see. Is your brightness all the way up? It's all the way up. Can yeah. you tell us about the thing? I've never seen one. <laughs> You've never seen a thing. Um, it's sitting right over there. <laughs> I don't want to. It's a super clean car. Um, it looks like a German officer's car kind of a thing. I don't know how to describe it. It's basically a Volkswagen Beetle with a different body on it for the, for the most part. It's a fun little car. It's a fun car. The doors come off it. The windows come off it. The top comes off. Did you get the muffler on a four-wheeler yet? Tyler has a muffler on his four-wheeler. And it's not ours, so. and, Yeah, it's not ours, and it's not, not here. Ours. He only rode it here that one time. Will you be building a home and a shop? Eventually. Yeah, it's only called a thing here in the United States. And they, there's a Acapulco, and then, yeah, there's a Type 181. Is that what it is? Well, yeah, there's a bunch of different... They were available in other countries. I can't I forgot what the name of it was in Australia. Trekker or something like that, maybe in Australia. Something like that. Okay. New to your channel, how did Lenny get his name? 
Uh, Lenny got his name because his brother, we had another bus, his name was Benny, and Lenny was just a good older brother name. I don't know. He looks like Lenny. Sorry, I'm trying to make through to see where the next question is. Will you drill a well or just municipal water and we'll sewer? We'll just have, uh, we'll have septic, but then municipal water. We don't have city sewer available. The septic bid came in and that was a little bit of a shocker. Um, that was a lot. We actually got two bids for septic, so. Will you have a dump site for sewage when your customers come? to visit your site to work on their buses? Yes. Just Dude, that's like the fifth time. Is that the same guy who keeps asking about? I, yeah, I just got rid of him. Okay. That's very annoying. Not only did I already answer the question, but it had one on there. Oh, I've seen it like a ton of times. And if you have a question, just answer, ask it once, please. Yeah. Uh, someone said, so how did Benny get his name? He, his name came, he came with that name. So there was a children's book called Benny the Bus. And the Benny, Benny had been in a, a movie, Lost in a Sense, like a film festival film. And the producers and writers of that movie, um, it, was, it was about a bus, uh, a couple of Amish kids in the 60s that were going to, I think it was 1968, they were going to the San Fran, no, the Monterey Music Festival. Um, well, actually they, they were on their rumspringa. So they were leaving the Amish community to check out the real world kind of thing, which is something that they do. And they end up, their car breaks down and things don't work out right. And they end up on this hippie bus with people that were going to the Monterey music festival, which was kind of like the precursor to Woodstock. Um, so these Amish kids, cult culture shock kind of thing, get on the bus, do that. Well, when they wrote the movie, you know, the, the bus had to have a name and the bus's name, he remembered that childhood book that he had read. It's a children's book, uh, about Benny the bus. So that's how Benny got his name. So when we got Benny from the, the charity auction from them, it, it, uh, uh, whatever. So we got the, and we just kept the name. And then when we brought him home, he always had he just always kept his name. And then I bought the book for Scott. And then I do have, she ended up finding the children's book somewhere and I have it, it's, it's at home, it's not on the bus, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's at home. What is Lenny's top speed? The, the, the high, the fastest that I've had him to is like 78, but he really goes about 72. Uh, I try to, Joe turned the governor up pretty high on it. So I, I try, I try to not really go above 72. How long can you stay in Lenny on your land before you start the new house? Um, I don't know. We're not allowed to legally live here full time in an RV. So I don't know what they figure full time. But I do think that everybody's so nice around here that I don't think the government officials are going to have a cow. The fact that we're sort of under quarantine-esque conditions around here right now. Um, they know what our plans are. You know, we're getting all the permits. We've already paid for the permits and stuff like that. So the, and things are coming along. With yeah. I, and we're progressing. So it's not like we're just here doing nothing. And so yeah, I don't anticipate a problem and with pe that. People buy property around here for hunting and stuff. So they do allow that, that you just can't live full time. Yeah. You can have a hunting cabin or something like that. So worst case scenario, I'll, I can pop in a little tiny home or something like that too. So or we leave for a few days and come back. That's yeah, not well, that was really what my initial thing was, as long because my bus is mobile. So if I leave for a couple days and come back, then it's not full time as far as I'm concerned. But we're not trying to get around any loopholes. We are going to build here. And the fact that we keep giving them money for permits uh, says that. <laughs> Have you ever seen a gas turbine bus? No, but I did look that up after somebody mentioned that before, because um, I had mentioned the steam bus project one. Um, if you've not followed that, that, that is a documentary since you're really bored and you're stuck at home. Uh, if you Google steam bus documentary or something like that, or steam bus project, I think that's what it was. Uh, that was back in the sixties, might've been the seventies, early seventies, late sixties. Uh, three different companies put in government bids to run buses off of steam power. 
Uh, one of them was the Lear, Lear Company, and I forgot what some of the other ones were, but they all took three different, completely different approaches to it. Uh, fuel economy was pretty close to what they got with diesel. They were super quiet. Uh, they actually ran them in revenue service, I believe, for a year. Um, it's just, it's a kind of a neat project. If you watch it, it'll be pretty neat. But the, the gas turbines, I've not seen those, but I have seen a video of, of discussing those. But I've never seen one. Is solar kicking today? Yeah, it's... It's doing really, really well. We'll hit 100% for sure on the batteries today. This one just says, will you do solar on the, and then there's nothing else. I'm assuming they're asking for a dude on the property. I would like to, I really would. I, I'm getting more, I think somebody on our Patreon page called it chasing the solar dragon. It's like a, a thing that you get, like once you start doing it, it becomes very addicting. And then you're like always like looking like, hey, what's the solar putting out? What's How many amps am I getting? How many watts am I getting? Yeah, you drive me nuts with that. I do. Uh, <laughs> the problem is it's all wooded back where the shop and house are gonna be. But if we, you could do it on the roof. So, I think it would be tall enough. A lot of it could go on the roof. Uh, we'll have to see how much gets cleared out for what we're building. I like it. I like solar too. But I don't know that we can 100% I know we could. Either, but we could. Uh, will you have a standard septic or elevated sand mound? Standard septic. When will you add power steering? Conventional is what they call it. I don't know. What did you say? When will you add power steering to Lenny? <sighs> Man, I, nothing more I'd like to do, but it's going to take money and time, and I don't have either of those things right now. So. And you plan on doing that when you're out in North Carolina? Yeah, Gene was going to help us do that. So. Will you keep any of the trees on your new property? Most of the trees are staying on the new property. The, the very bare minimum of trees are getting removed, uh, just enough to put where the structures are gonna go and stuff like that. And, and then any that aren't safe will yeah, come down. Yeah, there's some dangerous ones that need to come down. There, there's a couple of really dangerous widow makers hanging out on the property too. And some of them, depending on what they are, we may replant them somewhere else. Do you work on Gillig's? Sometimes, yes. Where is Benny now? Uh, Wisconsin, I think. I don't remember where they sold. They sold him. The company, the people that I gave him to sold him to somebody else. And he's been completely stripped and gutted and painted. And so he looks nothing like what he used to. So. Can you put a fiberglass septic tank or plastic ones in? I'm sure we can. The couple people you talked to, though, said plastic. Yeah. What kind of solar upgrades are you planning for the future? I have a project on the bus where I'm going to add another... I don't remember what it is. What's the math? I want to add eight more panels. 327 watts, whatever that is, times eight. I, um, I don't want to add eight more panels. She doesn't want to do it, but... Four more. I don't think we need eight. Four, four would be good, but I think that I, I want to have the other four that can deploy separately. So you would only really see the four and then you could pull the other four out when you're parked somewhere and really uh, has nothing to do with sunny days. Sunny days are completely fine, but the cloudy days, you know, to have double the power that we currently have right now would make life, life a little easier, especially if we have to run the air conditioning. Um, you know, if I have 4,500 watts of solar up there, um, that are available, that's going to be a little bit easier to deal with on the cloudy days, you know, when we're, we could bring in 2,000 watts on a cloudy day, which is what we can do on a sunny day right now, so. And you're being told, let me know if you're still interested in the tractor once all this crazy is over. I am very interested. Have you sent pictures of it to Tyler? I've been trying to get some pictures of it, or did you send them to me? Or I, I have no idea. I would love pictures of it, though, just so we can figure out how we can get on a uh, trailer and all that kind of stuff. Has the pollen covered your solar panels and it, has it affected your voltage? No, but it's been raining every single day. So the solar They're panels have been getting washed here. off. Um, I did notice the first, it was, I don't know what it was. The, when we did the, the grading here. So when we had the guy here with the blade and we did all the, there was all kinds of dust and stuff like that. And then it was a sunny day and we were getting like 1500 Watts. It rained really hard that night. And then the next day, same sunny conditions as the day before. And then we were getting, you know, 1800 
uh, watts. So just the dust that was in the air uh, from kicking up, doing the grading and stuff like that made a difference, but the rain did clean, clean it off. Where does all the knowledge of Detroit engines come from? Uh, just reading the book and, and helping people. Will schoolies Sorry. without a Detroit be acceptable to come camp and get help at some point? I don't really have a lot of experience with them. I mean, if you're looking for, you know, like brakes and stuff like that, as long as they're the similar kind of systems that I have, but I don't want to work on something I'm not familiar with. Um, Tyler may be able to help with that. Though, Tyler absolutely could do so that what, stuff. Yeah, easier. Tyler knows internationals and all that kind of stuff, which is in a lot of those school buses. Um, so once he's down here, yeah. then that might be a possibility. Like you just got a super chat come up. Oh, a super sticker from okay. Eric Course. What is that thing? <laughs> well, thank thank you, Eric. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's doing. It's it's on a rocket. At first, I thought it was a pickle, but I don't think it's a pickle. <laughs> I can't see. I don't want to go down. <laughs> it's really bright in the sunlight. But uh, yeah, you rock, Eric. That was cool. Um, will you have to revise your T O twos T O S? I don't know because of the ranting ex customer. Yes, um, I am going to be careful about what I do with clients helping me and paying attention to what's happening and stuff like that. Um, if it was up to me, we would have. Uh, yeah, I don't want to really get into it. Not, yeah. yeah, so we're we're fine, but I I have to pay attention to more details and stuff like that when multiple people are working on things and. That's a problem. How about wood gas bus? Not sure, is that the right word? I don't know what that means, wood, wood gas. I don't know if they're asking. Like, like a st wood stove? I don't, I'm not sure what they're asking. I'm sorry. Have you th thought of getting wheel lifts to lift bus and air to work underneath the buses yeah that's that's what we want to have like the ones that we had at rob's that we used at his place i, I want to get that same type of system um i really enjoyed working with those are uh, you off the road because of the virus yes not because we have it but just because we're trying to not, not get it and not s spread it to someone else and not get stuck somewhere because you know two two weeks ago when we left or a week and a half ago um we just kind of anticipated that things were going to get travel restrictions and things were going to be closing and stuff like that. And we came back and a few people gave us grief about it. Um, but I really, it was the right decision for us to do that. So. Do you have any pictures of Benny? Oh yeah. There's tours of him and everything. If you search probably Benny the bus just on, um, the YouTube channel, uh, you should be able to find some, he was really cool, super pimped out hippie inside shag rugs and, uh, cool vintage, refrigerator and had a hanging uh, one of those glass ball chairs in the back and it, it was definitely very period hippie decorated inside hot tub would be really great out there kelly wants a swim spa but that's gonna be a while because they're pretty expensive probably should have a house first <laughs> why we have a bus we have a bus <laughs> What do you think the biggest downfall of a Detroit 2V designs besides maintenance related things? What? The two stroke or anything? It, it says, what do you think the biggest downfall of a Detroit 2V designs besides maintenance related things? Uh, so he's meaning V71 or 71 series and 92 series, I assume is what he's meaning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, emissions is the only reason that they're not oh two valve um you just it's easier it's hard you can't get as much air in and out of them so you can run it cooler and get a little more power with the four valve versus a two valve um what part of north carolina are you planning to travel once travel is safer um definitely head into north carolina but we got we probably need it depends on when we're allowed to go because i'm not going to florida in august again um, we did that once, and we won't do that again. North Carolina, there's several. That North Carolina gets hot as shit, too, though. Yeah. Uh, that, that area is 
humid and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Have you got nets over your windows and doors to stop the bugs getting in? I actually deleted a user. Ha. Huh. Um, I'm glad you were paying attention because I can't sorry. see everything. Sorry, what was the... Have you got nets over your windows and door to stop bugs getting in? Uh, we have screens on the windows, but we haven't... We mostly just have the... Have the top vents over We have the right top now. vents with the... One of them is the, what, the fantastic vent, um, which I, that's a yeah. do dometic thing. Um, and it's amazing how much air that thing moves in and out which I don't know if you heard me the other day say that we're going to be doing a, like a, a live interview, not live. Well, it'll be live, but I won't play it live. Um, we're going to interview the people from Domatic about some of the RV products and stuff like that and talk about some things that might be coming out and what kind of solutions they have for other things. That should be a real fun project coming up. Um, have you heard a 16 V 149 running? Uh, just on videos. You know, not, not, not in person. That would be cool, though. Have you considered a five-speed fuller transmission, such as those in Crowns? Um, it's not available for my bus. I, mine's a V-drive, so the transmission uh, comes out of the engine at a 45-degree angle back to the differential, which then accepts that 45-degree angle. Uh, the Crown is going to be a T-drive, and that's completely different. At the GM, there's not enough distance between where the engine goes uh, and the rear end in order to fit that engine. They did that. They turned that engine sideways so they could get an extra row of seats, which made it more advantageous to the bus companies to buy the GM buses because they had more seating in them. That's how that originally started with that design. Um, so, yeah, I don't have that option. There, there's no other manual transmission options for the GM V-drive stuff. What's your favorite Detroit engine? Uh, inline 671 by far. How far? Hang on a second. Same person's back saying the same ridiculous shit. Same name. Must have multiple accounts. Okay, how far do you have to go to dump your tanks now? Um, there is a campground that we've dumped at that is, I don't know what it is, less than 10 miles away. Yeah. Um, but we can go another week here on Black Tank, probably. Um, we'll see. The Great Tank we can just dump out here. Yeah, I need to look up and see what the, what the rules are here in Tennessee about Great Tank on property. But we're good right now. What's the first building you will erect, a barn or a shed? The barn. Uh, what was the yellow neighbor bus? The bus on the hill across from us? Is that what they're asking about? I'm guessing. They're going to drive that bus off of the, we have, they have a cliff over there like we have here, but theirs actually might be higher. And the, on Halloween, they were going to do uh, a big bonfire with the local church and the kids out here. And then they, they've, in the past, they've, you know, had cars drive off the top of the thing and, you know, crash down to the bottom as like a stunt or whatever. You don't drive them. They Not, well, them. sorry, drive, push, whatever. Nobody's, nobody's in the driver's seat. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Um, they were going to do that, but this Halloween, it, it rained a lot and they weren't able to do that. So. They're, they're, they wanted to do it in the spring here. So. Yeah. And then they were going to do it in the spring, but now that nobody can congregate, um, Maybe it'll make it to Halloween again. Um, how thick are you going to pour the pads? Six, six inches. With rebar. Beautiful moss on the rocks on your property. Does that bring out the old photographer in you? Oh, yeah. I was actually tempted to grab my real camera the other day. Um, it's so pretty over there. The, the whole property is beautiful, but especially that area over there, which is something new that we just discovered. I think it's amazing over there. Uh, do you have fire hazards around there? Um, probably everywhere. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be so worried about right here. You know, I mean, if there was a fire like this area right here, there's nothing really to burn in this this area right here. So, 
Are you going to change to split AC units? I am going to put a mini split in there um, that we're going to have as kind of our primary air conditioner for now. Um, just, just because it's more energy efficient. And if I can get rid of one of the rooftop airs, that might make it a little easier to get the solar panels up there that I want to. So. Are you going to build a strip and start flying again? <laughs> you can just go right down the drive. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely could have an ultralight out here. That is for damn sure. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I uh, no. What wild animals have you seen on the new property? Uh, Armadillo. Armadillo. <laughs> Met him. Uh, snakes. Um, squirrels. Only a couple, though. Birds. I saw Woody Woodpecker today. The full-on, whatever kind of woodpecker that is that Woody is. Saw him. Very cool. Um, they really didn't exaggerate on that cartoon. It was full-on Woody Woodpecker. Um, yeah, lots of birds. Not, not much. We hear though. we hear coyotes a lot. I've not seen them on the property. Um, Did you say snakes? I didn't. I said snakes. Okay. Yeah, multiple kinds you said of you snakes. Saw a bunch of frogs the other night. Uh, I heard the frogs. Oh, you heard them. Okay. I heard, oh, them. I I heard frogs. Them. I thought you they said they They were you saw every. Oh, they were so them. loud down there. It was like being next to a pond. Um, it was nighttime. Yeah, I have, we haven't seen any deer yet. Although I've seen, you know, like the scrapings on the trees where they've been, you know, scratching their antlers, kind of thing that that look real fresh. Um, the neighbor sees them all the time. So we're just, you know, a lot of times by the time sunset or getting at dusk, we're already inside the bus and that's probably the time to see him. He said, so. What is the brand of inverter and solar charger you bought? Um, Victron. And I absolutely love their stuff. It is so amazing. I can just pull it up on my phone, see how much power it's using. Uh, I can put things in a standby mode or turn them off. I, yeah, the, the whole system, because we used to have the Magnum stuff, um, and got rid of all that. The, the one inverter was brand new. I just had it a few months. Um, but after seeing Juan set up with the Victron stuff, I just fell in love with it. It's so much superb. And the fact that it's a, uh, like a hybrid inverter where power, you know, you can set how much load you want to come off. So if, if you had a really small generator or if you're plugged into like a, a household outlet somewhere, you can tell it to just take, you know, like 15 amps out of this, out of this plug. And then everything else you need to do, make up for it out of the battery. So when your air conditioner started, it didn't bog it down. It didn't trip the breaker in the house or whatever. So, uh, the fact that they can do that, it's, it's amazing. Will you visit Danger Marine one day? I hope I get to visit Stu. I, I would love that. So, are you planning any upgrades on Lenny during your downtime? Uh, I don't think he's going to get any upgrades. He's just going to get some needed maintenance done to him. What catastrophic failure to Lenny would you consider not repairing? Uh, I mean, if you broke in half or something like that. <laughs> It'd have to be really bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, he's in pretty good shape. This is, I'm jealous. No grass to mow there at all. Nope. We don't have any. Not yet. Um, how big is the old bus community in the States? Watching from Scotland, love the channel. It's pretty big. There's, there's a lot. There's even more. I don't know. There's, it's big. It's, it's becoming more and more popular too with the kind of tiny home thing. And some of the tiny home people are kind of crossing over into it. Um, a lot of the things that we build on the RV side of it are real similar. So it, it's bigger than just buses. Um, you know, it's, other vehicles and then RV side of it. And then now we're even in kind of in the homestead thing here too with the bus, so. No plan for power steering and turbo? Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna do it here. It's, that's down the line. It's, Kelly, can you, I, I keep hiding that person from what I'm doing here, but apparently they're still able to comment. It says they're hidden, so that means they're oh, okay. out of there. Okay, well so then they they're just making new profiles with a similar name. Yes. Sorry. How are you running your refrigerator? It runs off the batteries, so it goes through the inverter. 
and we've had it on for it'll run forever. Osmond's on here. Hey Oz. Oz is gonna help me paint the bus. I don't know if I have I have I mentioned I've mentioned that before, yes. haven't I? And you're gonna help him with solar. Yeah, I'm gonna help him put solar on his bus and then he's gonna help me paint the bus. Um Oz, I bought a DA sander and some sandpaper. So that is one of the projects I was going to work on while I'm out here. Yeah, is I was going to start stripping paint down on the bus. Um, Oz will be happy to see that. Oz hates my paint on the bus. <laughs> so it's me. We just haven't had, hadn't had time to do anything. How is Tyler with this virus stuff? Uh, I think he's... He went and stocked up on beer. I know. <laughs> Right? Grammy called you out, Tyler. Yeah, Grammy told on you, Tyler. He said he went and got beer. He just didn't tell us how much beer he got. And then we heard that he got 12 cases of beer. <laughs> so, I, I don't think... I thought she said eight, but oh, it was a lot. Whatever. Um, how many hours per year do you spend on Lenny's maintenance? Also, minimum maintenance costs. I, I think you got to figure about $5,000 a year is, is usually pretty good. But then, like every third year, be prepared for a ten to fifteen thousand dollar year, um, and if, if you don't do that, then I mean that's every system. So that's you know the inside stuff, and you know like our refrigerator died a week ago or a week and a half ago. That was the absolute worst timing. Um, but yeah, I think if you if you figure on five thousand dollars a year, you're pretty good. Um, some some years this year, I, I mean we did a lot because we rebuilt the engine and all that kind of stuff. And solar and everything else. Yeah, really. the solar added up. We've been making a lot of upgrades though because we're living on it. So I think we put a little bit more than most people do. Yeah. The fact that we haven't been able, to, we haven't been plugged in for, well, we plugged in at Oz's so to just a regular household 15 amp outlet thing on an extension cord and just, just use very minimal power from that. Um, other than that, when we were home before we came here, we plugged in just to keep everything topped off and had snow and ice and stuff like that too. Um, it was mostly about running heat in the bus than anything there. Um, and that whole time we were in at Wands, we were, you know, nothing, no generator, nothing. So everything we're doing, and, and we've been recharging all of our tools off of the solar from the batteries. Um, so, you know, the chainsaws that I've been using, the weed eaters, the, you know, all the uh, running the air compressor and uh, all the tools. And when we were at Wands, he's using a welder and all that kind of stuff. So. Is that person posted again? Mm-hmm. When you boondock, how do you find good parking places? Um, is there really a good parking space? So my our boondocking isn't really what most other people are doing. So there is that uh, boondockers welcome organization. I think that's what it's called that Dan's a part of um, where you can go in and stay at other places. I, we've, I blocked that person like five times. They keep getting a new profile name that's the same so um apparently they're used to doing that kind of stuff sorry um but for us it's like just staying one night like at a, a walmart parking lot or a you know a, a truck stop not a truck stop uh what is it on the highway the rest stop mm -hmm. um truck stops usually aren't very good number one they don't want you there because those guys have a limited amount of time they can drive and they get real complaining about it which i understand that because you know the, their government's much more strict on them uh, and it's really loud there too. Anyways, you don't want to try and stay there with air brakes going off and engines starting and stopping that kind of thing. Um, but you know, BLM land out West and stuff like that, those kinds of places. Casinos. Yeah. Casinos are really good places to stay because they, they want you to come in and, and spend some money and they're usually nice and quiet and have security and stuff like that. Um, Walmarts, we always check before we go there. Well, we almost always check except for that one Walmart when we showed up and it wasn't really a Walmart. It was the guy's front yard. With this permanent garage sale and he had it listed on google maps as walmart <laughs> that's fun uh will you paint your logo on lenny no radiant heat in the pad maybe in the shop i want it yeah yeah for sure in the shop we'll at least run run it through the floors like um rodney did when we were out of his place uh what is normal oil consumption for a two-story Detroit. Anything less than like a gallon every thousand miles, but you got to understand that's consumption, not leaking. A lot of them will leak more than that. So you might be going through a gallon every 500 miles, but if you've got a pretty good couple oil leaks, that doesn't really count. But mine, mine, I get about a quart and a half 
every thousand miles. Are you still happy with the paint on the roof? It needs another coat, but absolutely yes, I'm. I love it. We only put one coat on when we did it. Had we have done two coats, I think it would it would be absolutely perfect. I wish it would have been done before the solar went up, though. Yeah, it's gonna be a little harder. But I'm gonna paint the solar panels. I'm gonna paint the aluminum brackets with it and the side of the solar panels that are black right now. They're gonna get painted white, and I think that'll help too. Could you polish the bus instead of painting? Uh, well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, you can. The, the front is aluminum too, but no, I'm gonna keep paint on it there. Um, the sides are polished now, but yeah, the, the front of it, I've seen it where it's just stripped aluminum and you, you absolutely could do that, but no. Will Lenny get his Greyhound dogs back on the side? I don't know. I have them at home. Um, I, don't know if, I don't know if they're gonna go on there or not. I prefer no, but I know you want them on. I wanted them, I really did. Um, but now I don't know. I'm um, sorry if I an if you answered earlier when we start work on the property. Um, well, we, we're working on the property every day that we can right now. So th things are happening. It's just not as fast as we want it to. Um, I can't remember, but do you have a washing machine? No. We, we have two months worth of clothes packed on the bus for the trip that we were going on. Um, and then it, they we're going to have to go to a laundromat for a day, which that is going to be not fun. We'll go like full hazmat well, suit. <laughs> the neighbor already offered that we can go over and do at their house. I feel bad about doing yeah, that. Yeah, I do too. So we'll have to see. But at least I don't have bus clothes. That's that's. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's different. If I'm my dirty bus clothes, I would never want to wash at their house. Uh, what size inverter do you have? Is it pure sine wave? Yes. Yeah, a th I have two three thousand watt twenty four volt inverters. So a total of six thousand watts available. Um, And they're both a 24 volt. Would you ever uh, replace Lenny with another bus? What kind would it be? No, no, I mean, it'd be another silver size probably if I had to do that. Have you been putting some miles on the thing? Yeah, I put a half a tank of gas in it the other day, <laughs> <laughs> which was five gallons, just so you know. <laughs> My gas gauge doesn't work on it, so I carry an extra one gallon can up in the front, uh, front trunk. Uh, the, if I run out of gas, I got that I can pour in there, but I was curious with it going up and down the hill so many times. You know, we use it to go down to the mailbox and things like that. Um, do you run any Lucas oil additives in your engine? I have in the past. Um, right now, I've, I really like the Hyperlube better. Um, trying to get those guys to sponsor us. Um, but the, the Hyperlube is just a little bit snottier feel to it when I get on the upper end. Just uh, everything just feels more lubricated. Um, and it's, it's the same, probably similar stuff than, than, the, than the Lucas Oil uh, heavy duty oil stabilizer. Um, but I, I like the Hyperlube. What oil leak do you fight the most on Lenny? He's not really bad. He's just got a couple little leaks here and there. So a couple of things out of the head, uh, you know, where the head meets the block, that's always a stupid thing. Um, I'm trying to think where, where he does leak a little bit of oil. I think his, his uh, front main seal might have a tiny, tiny leak. Um, he doesn't leak that bad though. Obviously if I'm getting, you know, consumption that I got. Are you still considering a shipping container build? For the house part, possibly, yeah. I, for me, I myself am leaning towards that. I, I'm not how, she likes them. I don't know how much she's leaning towards it. But. I just have to, if we find the right, yeah. right one. Yeah. So they're on Hulu, there's a show, Shipping Container Homes or something like that. I don't know what it was I called. I think that's what it's called. We started watching that. We watched like three or four episodes. Um, Some of them are ridiculous. They are ridiculous. We're like the guys, yeah, we have a budget of $650,000. And, and there's two containers. Yeah, that's what it was, right? <laughs> it was two containers. Two, he, yeah, two containers, and he spent that kind of money on it. So oh, uh, that's not what we're looking to do. Um, and the other guy spent 500000 and he had 12 containers in this huge home and koi ponds and all kind of stuff. Yeah. Still not what we're looking to do, though. <laughs> 
Would a Sherman tank make it up your hill? Oh, yeah. Oz wants to know, is there a paint store you can go to nearby to pick up a paint code? Um, I act, the paint code is available. It's, it's on the Bus Grease Monkey forum, I know. Um, Tom, Tom has all that stuff posted. I don't know what the, the number is. I might have it on a sheet. Um, I'm, I'm not an absolute purist. As long as it was something that looked close to that color, I would be completely fine with that. But Any chance of an update video on how some of the buses you worked on are going? Yeah, we want to have... We had discussed having a rally here at the house, the property here, with some of our favorite clients from this past year that we, you know, um, the virus is kind of messing with everybody's travel plans and stuff like that. But, you know, we thought it'd be fun to have, you know, Lance out here with the bus and George and Juan and, you know, other, I, I feel bad, I'm, Dan and, you know, I don't want to leave people's names out. I shouldn't have started naming names. Um, Mark and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it would just, it would be really fun. Um, Rob, I don't know who else. <laughs> I should have not started naming names, but uh, hopefully that's something that we would be able to do at some point. Ooh, that's something we just need to do yearly. It's just anybody from the year before is invited to come or something. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, what is the thinking behind having two inverters, backup or capacity? Uh, both. Yeah, um, the way that I have it, the benefit for me is that I have one on each leg of the 220 as it comes in. So if I'm plugged into a 50 amp somewhere, it can use each leg coming in, or if I'm sharing, then each one can make up for the difference. Um, that's- And it was cheaper to do the two. It was cheaper and it was, well, I don't know if it was cheaper. Or it was about the same to do It was about the same to do, yeah, versus, you know, 5, like a, a 5,000 watt one versus doing, I'll have 6,000 watts with the two of them. But I like having a backup one. I've, I've lost inverters before and I've always had a backup one and several times we've had to, you know, result to using the backup one. So I don't anticipate that being a problem with these Victrons because they're pretty nice, but nothing, you know, if you lose all your power, then you're completely screwed and stuck to a generator. So yeah, redundancy is very important. Will you add an underground bunker to your building plans? I would like to, or basement, but yeah. Uh, we've got the hillside out here. I'd love to build down into the hillside with, with the container home. I think that would be amazing. But we're not paranoid about the tornadoes or anything. I mean, they go through where in Indiana where we're at too, so. Yeah. What year is the thing? 73. Couple differences on them. The 73, the the vents in the back are a little different, and then the mirrors actually hook on the doors instead of the post. So when you take the doors off, to drive around on the thing without a door, you don't have any mirrors, side side view mirrors. Um, they they definitely improved that on the 74 thing. Is Lenny geared high? Is that why you have so much issues with hills? You don't understand how steep the hills that you've seen lately are. That's that's what the problem is. Um, the cameras do not do them any justice whatsoever. Uh, but yes, he is geared. He's, I mean, he's, his gears are tall and, uh, and he's heavy. He's heavy, heavy, heavy. The thing right now has a 1600 in it. It's a, a VW bus engine that's in it now. Did you get an address? Yes, we have an address. Will you be... I was going to say it was really stupid too because you have to have the septic permit in order to get the address. And they, they changed to a new system where you have to buy your septic per permit from the state of Tennessee online on their website. And one of the required fields for the application for the septic permit is address. <laughs> that was very frustrating. So I put in fake numbers and then put ish next to it because it required it. And then you still had to give directions. To and the I still property. had to give directions for the inspector to come. Will you be looking to purchase a pre-1980 GMC Astro semi-truck soon? Uh, that would be nice to have. But not soon, no. Um, adding more panels to Lenny, will you need to uh, upgrade inverters? No. I'll, just, I'll need another solar charger though, because my, my solar charge controller is already maxed out, which we've got one coming uh, already, uh, solar charge, charge controller. Uh, do you know someone with an old bus for sale? 
Um, I'm trying to think who was telling me they were selling a bus. Not, not, not offhand. I can't think of anyone. How does the gear shift mechanism on Lenny maintain tolerances given the distance from the column to the transmission? Yeah, it's got some play in it. Um, you know, it's, it's a mechanical linkage all the way from the front to the back. So there's probably 45 feet of linkage that it goes through with a bunch of different clevises and stuff like that. And as long as you keep the clevises in good shape, um, and then there's some adjustments you can make on it too. Um, but he definitely, it moves. Can you add stationary panels on your property and hook them up to your bus when you pull in? We could do that. Yeah. Will your workspace be at the bottom of the hill? I'm going to have a workspace down there, I believe. Um, but no, our main shop's going to be up top. We might have to get a tug here or something that can pull stuff up the hill, a tractor, but it, it'll be fine. Are you planning to get a puppy for the property? No, hell no. <laughs> the three, I, three back home or no? Did I, did I, did I say no? <laughs> no. We don't have time. Yeah. And we travel, we too, travel much. too much. Without AC, how warm does it get in the bus in this blasting sun? It's a little warm in there right now, and it's only like 60 out. Um, but it's not bad. If you open the windows, though, and as long as there's a breeze, it's not too bad. But we could full-on run that air conditioning right now and not have any effects. Have you put your gate up in the driveway yet? There's no gate yet, but it's roped off. Yeah, we have a, a wire cable. Some turkey buzzers overhead. Um, there's a wire cable with a lock that goes across, blocking off the driveway. That we've, we've moved it out so it's not no longer around that corner. Uh, so there's no teenage parking spot hideout around the corner anymore. We'll get a gate soon. Money's disappearing, so. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what this means. Did you try the water bottle trick? The water will give you the angle. Oh, no. FYI, don't cut. I don't know what it's saying. Somebody said something about don't cut the twisty trees or something like that. Is that what you're reading? Um, it says don't cut Dow Yo Long. So it's probably saying down something. I'm a wood artist and find these wood. Find these in woods and make walking sticks and sell them at my shows for 30 bucks. Oh. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what they're saying. They're what, probably using the, count, the cut down. Yeah, I don't know. That, that voice to text and things like that, too. Sound. Or there's the autocorrect changes words really bad. I hear the owl. Can you hear it? I'm, I'm shocked that we hear it now. I never hear them in the daytime. Someone says, bet your muscles are hurting from all the raking. Yes. Yeah. Our whole body aches. Have you thought of making a few campsites? For buses to come vacation and make a little money um no and i don't know what the legality of that would be either but i am going to have some extra rv pads here and stuff too and some of our patreon friends and stuff can come here and stay so um <laughs> what's with the owl during the day i don't know can you guys hear the owl he's definitely back that way today Will you post a normal video today, like an update on the horrible customer? No. Okay, now this guy, sorry, don't cut down your twisted trees, previous chat. Oh. Okay, yeah. Have you found a stig yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> How big is your land? Almost 25 acres. Can you recommend a model bus that is easier to keep maintained? Uh, 
I can't think of anything. They're all they're all about the same. I I, I like the GM buses myself because I think the engines are a little easier to get to and stuff. Um, but then some of the parts aren't as interchangeable with other models and things of buses. So, um, yeah, I, all the vintage stuff though is pretty. If you stay away from the electronic stuff, I think you'd be happy. But at least that that's makes me happy. Uh, how are you gonna keep the snakes out of the bus? Um, that better not be a thing. I haven't had a problem yet. <laughs> Knock on wood. Yeah, the first snake we get in the bus, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Bus for sale. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't crap on me, bird. <laughs> They're circling around. It's, they know something. Oh, the buzzards are circling me right now. Have you brought a BB gun for target practice on snakes? That's not nice. Hey, yeah, that's not nice. I actually think all the venomous snakes in Tennessee are protected too. Isn't that ridiculous? I'm pretty sure that. What do the inverters cost roughly? Snakes on a bus. That, the fact that we have Samuel L. Jackson as our Alexa, too, that would be... <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Don't even go there. <laughs> what was the cost, of the, uh, roughly, of the inverters? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. I thought they were like... 1500 1500 or something 15, like that? Some, yeah. I'm sure you can look on Amazon. We got them from um, Battleborn. So Batterbone Batteries is a Victron dealer. Super easy to deal with. And the best thing is that you can call them for tech support. So if you have questions about it, like you buy it just on Amazon, who are you going to call when you got a question? You don't have a company to reach out and do that. Their prices were like within a dollar. I mean, just change from what they were on Amazon. But then you're buying from a company that uh, you can actually call and talk to on the phone and they'll help you troubleshoot stuff and set things up. And like, I wasn't sure how I wanted to wire something. So I called them and talked to them. And they're super amazing people at Battleborn. I absolutely love them. Um, I love their batteries too, but you know, they, they're a Victron dealer and you can get all your Victron stuff and actually talk to a human being. That's to me, that's a big that benefit. English. Yeah. I talk to a person in this country. Yes. Uh, how do you get water? We haven't needed any yet. Well, we've been collecting rainwater, um, to use. And then, yeah, we, we have a hundred gallons of fresh, so I haven't checked it, but I'm going to guess that it's still at least half full. It's about half. And hopefully by the time we need it, the water will be hooked up here. Yeah. Yeah, that, that the racer snake or whatever they are, yeah, I, that's why I want him to stick around. That one I like, but I don't want him in the bus. Um, Someone's asking if there's huge spiders on the land. Probably. I've not seen big, big spiders. I haven't really seen hardly any spiders. Kitty cats help with snakes and rats, except I'm allergic to kitty cats. Yeah, but I think we could and have I some think, barn cats, though, and right? And I think maybe the coyotes would get, would they get the cats? I don't know if coyotes do. I don't know, because that would just break my heart. Our neighbor has a stuffed coyote. And a bobcat, was And it? a bobcat, yeah. They both pretty gnarly looking. I think that bobcat was crazy looking. I've never seen one in real life, but they're here. Someone says they think that all snakes are protected in Tennessee. Oh. Did VW make the thing in their factories? I think they were made in Mexico. I think... I thought it was I Mexico. think mine says it's made in Mexico. I think that's where they made it. But they had VW factories in Mexico, so... What time is it? Uh, it's 7 a.m. Thursday in Sydney. So it's 3.11 here. 3.11 p.m. Yep, on Wednesday. Super I think nice. it's Wednesday. It must be. Is your song available to the public yet? I, don't, I haven't heard from Tom. Um, I don't think so, but he's, he was working on it. Is there any videos of when you got Lenny and of his reno? No, I need to make a video of... 
I've got pictures and stuff like that, but I didn't really shoot video of it. It was a really fun trip when me and Tyler went to get them. A lot of crazy things happened and it was just, it was fun. But it would be fun to tell the story about everything and then include some of the pictures and the things that happened. That, that'd be that'd be a pretty entertaining video, I think. And then when we got home, Kelly wouldn't even go in. She took one it step inside the bus and she said, I am not going in that thing because it was I so gross. I would have made him clean it out first. There was, yeah, a couple different things that involved puking and yeah, it was. There was so much garbage in there. Garbage. It was nasty. Porn collections, two different porn stashes found in the bus. Drugs. Drugs. There's marijuana in there, um, rolling papers, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it was quite an adventure. I'm glad it wasn't my adventure. <laughs> Are you going to dig a well? No, city water. What's your humidity there? Are you expecting high or low humidity in the summer? It's it gets. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be pretty yeah, high. Yeah, it gets pretty humid here. Mm. Are your lungs missing the diesel smoke? <laughs> no. I haven't, I, we, whatever day it was that we fired up Lenny, I know, out. there's like... We're, we're just sitting still, we're not dead. There's four, I don't know if I can show this or not. Let's see. Can you flip the... Wait, flip let me around. take this off here. Well, now I only see three. Okay. Oh, there's all four of them. Hang on, how do I flip this around? There it is. <laughs> see the turkey buzzards? Careful when you step out. There's that bee circling around your thing there. Yeah, they're just hanging out. There's, there's Lenny. They're getting closer. Yeah, that one's. <laughs> they're keeping an eye on us, I think. I certainly don't want one of those to crap on me. That is for dang sure. Yeah, the other ones flew off a little bit. I suppose you don't have to watch my dumb face. I can just set this on my tripod here. Now you have something pretty to look at. Oh, and there's the thing over there. Oh, oh sorry. He's behind a tree. <laughs> um. I should have done that from the beginning. That's so much prettier. Sorry. Seems like something has died out there, maybe. Does your bus outweigh one from back in the day with seats and full of people? Absolutely, it does. What type of house will you build and will you do it yourself or contract out? Um, a little bit of both, I guess. I, originally, I would have just said, no, we're going to contract it out. But I actually built our first home. Uh, I hired one contractor to help me do it one guy that helped me frame it. We subbed out the excavating and the concrete work and then we framed it and then I did everything except for the drywall. Um, but the, I only hired the one guy to help me frame it. Other than that, we, we, I did everything on the inside. Um, and Tennessee, is, if it's your own home, they let you do that here too. So uh, I just didn't necessarily want to take the time to do that. But the more I've been here and I like spending time on the property, if I'm going to save the money, I might as well pay myself to do that. Um, and Tyler's got some of those skills too. So, especially if I do a container home, I, I think I'll- I would at least like to do all the finishing stuff in it. Yeah. Well, if this wasn't the thing orange, when did the wrap come off? No, he's got the wrap on it now. The wrap is that teal color or whatever. It's not really teal, <laughs> sea foam green kind of thing or whatever. It's orange underneath. It's, on, it's orange underneath there. We haven't pulled the wrap off yet. How long does it take for you to build a home? I don't know. The The last one, it was like six months and maybe seven months. It was seven months because we had a six month construction loan and, and we were going over a few weeks at the end.
And you are caught up. Hit the like button if you get a chance and you don't mind. I'd appreciate that. I know you're all probably extremely bored today, sitting at home, not being able to work. Is everybody enjoying work? If you get to work from home, are you enjoying being able to work from home? And do you think that this new world that we're in, that maybe like people are gonna change the way they work now? Like maybe their work habits will be different and stuff like that since they've been able to take time off and they can do their job from home. Will some of that stuff stick maybe? I don't know. And how many people will pick a different job now? Yeah, maybe you'll pick a job where you're not maybe around people worried about the next infection coming. Or will they pick a job because they know they'll be guaranteed work. That's if true this too. this happens again. Yeah. You have to look at both ways. Suddenly being a stalker at a grocery store is a much more attractive job. Someone says they're on the bus right, or on the clock right now. Oh. <laughs> How many of you have expelled your children from homeschooling already? <laughs> to know where they could find parts for their heater for a VW thing. Um, I forgot the guy's name. I want to say it's on Facebook. There's a group called like 181 helpline or something like that. And there's a bunch of thing members that are on there. Uh, I think the guy's name is Michael Basco. I want to say is his name. I, I, I could be completely wrong. <laughs> um, but par yeah, parts are available. Um, I have a spare one at home. Mine's real finicky. I got, if I want to use it, it, it works. Once I get it going, then it works great for the whole season. But then by the time it gets around to the next year, I don't know if the gas goes bad and I got to, I fight with it, drain it, prime it, uh, get it working. And then it'll work good for that season. And then the next year. So I, I get tired of messing with it. I don't really use it much in the winter time. So. This one's funny. Teacher got fired for alcohol use. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, sir. Yeah. You run out of food. How long before you start eating squirrels? Never. Yeah. We want to plant a garden out here, though. Um, but we just—I think we need to do it in a greenhouse because there's too much wildlife out here. Um, we should be so mad if her garden got eaten up by deer and stuff like that. Um, we're good. We're good for a few months. I was wondering who does appraisals on old buses. I, I don't know. Um, a lot of them aren't even worth getting the appraisal on. And a lot of banks won't finance them. And a lot of insurance companies won't insure them for that amount anyway. So you got to be careful what you do. It could just be a waste of money to try and get an appraisal done. You have chipmunks on your property. I haven't seen any chipmunks, but I would assume there that there's some out here. We don't really drink. We don't have alcohol on the bus. I see that as a thing. I think we have one thing at Amaretto on the bus, right? Yeah. I wish I had some whiskey sometimes. Kelly's a whiskey girl. She does like whiskey. This is Tennessee. We should probably find some of that for her. It, on the occasion that I do have a beverage, it's usually something like a strawberry margarita or something like that. Very, I'm not with that. very college girl, spring, hey, spring break -ish. I like margaritas too. Would you consider doing any solar on like a 1999 motorhome that already has some solar? Like helping somebody install it or something? I'm guessing. Probably. Wow. 
What do you use to cut the undergrowth for fire breaks? Uh, we we don't. We just got here. We haven't done anything. But I, I want to bring in somebody and, you know, a... What's the, what's the word for the tree guys? Arborist. Arborist. Um, and have them go through and tell us kind of what needs to get done and what should be done and trees to remove and things to do and stuff like that. I Obviously, I've never owned property before, um, but it's, it's, you know, I don't think there's anything super dangerous, more dangerous than anywhere else around here. How does the turbo work with a blower? Will they fight? No, they don't fight. How is the virus thing going to affect you getting up to New England? It's going to affect everything. It's yeah. Who knows when this is going to be done? It's I, going to push everybody back. I, yeah, I don't. I don't think that uh, Easter deadline that Donald Trump kind of gave the other day. I don't think that's a realistic number or date. Um, I, I think it's going to be a lot longer than that. But who knows? Maybe maybe they'll come up with a, a vaccine or something, and then nobody has to worry about it. Who knows? I was asking if you have any acorn trees on your property. That's where the deer would be. There are definitely acorns. I've seen them on the ground. Lenny does look bored. But he's got a great freaking view, I think. remember what the dimensions are in the new shop that we talked about. Do you remember? No. I don't remember what we... We're waiting for our first estimate coming in for that, but I forgot what we told the guy. It was wider than uh, the shop that we work on Lance's bus at. Uh, I think I'm just going to do two bay bus, but it's going to be extra wide. It's going to be extra wide, so there's like an extra 15 feet on each side of the bus to get around and stuff like that. So. Yeah, he, he figured it all out for us when we told yeah. him. Did you look for ginseng yet? I have not, but I did look online to see what it does look like, what the plants look like, so it'd be easy to spot them. Um, I think if it's going to be on the property, it's going to be more over on the back side of the property here. My mom just texted that she's watching. Hi, Mom. Oh, Kelly's mom is watching. Hello, Carol. Have you made any aerial vids of the property yet? No, I sold my drone about a year ago. Kind of wish I had one now. This would be a great place for it. Yeah, our batteries are probably getting close to 100% by now. I don't know if I'm close enough to check. So you watch whatever comments, so. All right. Now we're 76%. Oh, there we go. How many watts are we I'm pulling? I'm connecting to that right now. 11.29 right now. Really? Yep. Huh. It's, the other side's probably not getting it right now. It's behind us, so. It's not getting the other side. Oh, that's interesting, okay. We'll get to 100 today, though. Yep. Okay. I had a hard time reading again. It's okay. Lenny's roof got painted, oops, um, with uh, Henry's roof coat stuff. It's like a elastomeric silicone type. I don't know what it is. It made a big difference. It's super shiny, slip, nothing sticks to it. It's great. Oz has a drone. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jason and um, John are, have the brake light for me. Jason, he was here the other day and he forgot to bring it. So eventually we'll have that on there. They've got the 37, 
PD-3751 parts available. They're, they're starting to reproduce all the stuff for them. Um, I just, this very second, I can't remember the, the website address. It might be PD3751.com. There's Jason right there. Yep, that's it. And somebody's asking who Tyler is. Tyler is our son, who's a mechanic. He'll be living here eventually. His lease is up at the end of summer, I think, up in the Indianapolis area. Uh, are you going to buy a shed for storage? No, we're going to get a storage container. Probably storage container, yeah. But for right now, our neighbors have offered us, if we leave the property, that we can they've got a shed over there where we can lock anything up in there um, so we don't have to leave stuff unattended over here. Are uh, you going to put beehives in? No? Probably not. Why, are you considering doing it? No. Have you found the middle brake light for Lenny yet? Yeah, I answered that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I was probably too busy trying to read something else. Yeah, Tyler's YouTube channel is Indiana Diesel. Did you think about using Tesla solar tiles to cover the whole roof? Not, no, I hadn't thought of that. I, I don't even know. That's also, is it really even on the market yet, or is it just a thing? I don't... I'm more than happy with these SunPower solar panels. I think they're a great deal. And their performance is really good. I believe we're caught up on all the questions. All right. Well, we probably wasted enough of your time today. Thank you for watching and sharing your time with us. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for liking, pressing the thumbs up. We appreciate that. Someone says they're really interested in information on the solar panel part. The solar panel, like on our bus? I'm assuming. I need, uh, we'll be doing a video coming up on the, the next install whenever I get around to that. Um, it's pretty simple. And, you know, getting the right kind of panels is, is really important. Um, being able to produce the kind of power that, that we're getting 70 amps at 24 volt and stuff like that. So, and there's even higher voltage panels available. That's like what um, Juan has. So, yeah. So, I, yeah, I don't want to. We'll do something soon talking about that. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, everybody. I, I do appreciate the, the kind words and, and the friendship that we get from a lot of you as well. Um, if, if you haven't ever thought about joining our Patreon, it's something that we do have. Um, we share a little bit more personal stuff on there, and then Kelly does live interviews with me on Patreon as well. Um, it's just something kind of fun, something extra that we do, but obviously not required. So uh, thank, thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys. Have a great day, and we're going to get back to work, go pick up our rake and shovel here in a minute, and get back to work. You guys stay safe and have a great day.